Okay, so this is going to be truly awful. I don't even know if the lens is dirty or not, but the, the video quality is really fuzzy. Got a little bit of a fisheye effect because of the, uh, it's a little bit wider than uh, the phone or the Sony camcorder over here. Much wider. So it's able to capture a lot more than this thing does, or the phone, or even the Canon digital camera that I've been using. This, I don't think it even records in, in uh, HD. It doesn't look like it. The 4x3 aspect ratio certainly lends to that. Uh, I don't know where the microphone is on this, so I'm sure it's probably pee popping like crazy if it is at all. I don't even know if it's recording any video or any audio. Hopefully it's recording some video here. Let's go out to the car. Uh, this thing is actually pretty heavy for a uh, point-and-shoot digital camera, but uh, these are one of the uh, digital point-and-shoot cameras that uh, where you have to put high energy, high current drain batteries in, or else if you were to put alkalines in it, it would die in a minute recording video or taking photos. It would probably die in about 10 or 15 minutes. It just, they use a lot of power. Uh, over the uh, over the preceding years, as technology has increased, they've used different uh, image processors and different image sensors that don't take nearly as much energy. I, I would not uh, be surprised if this thing has got a uh, a CCD imager in it, and it wouldn't take very long to find out. Well, I can't tell because it's still the sun has to come up over the uh, while wow, this thing is dirty. Yeah, the sun hasn't come up yet, so it's hard to it's hard to, f to tell if this thing has got a CCD or not. But it's certainly old enough to have one, and uh, it certainly loves that battery. Not much. How are you doing? It's freezing out here. I'm cold. I'm freezing. I'm tired of this cold weather. I thought I was living in the south. Shoot! It's supposed to be cold for the next week. <laughs> I think it's supposed to warm up a little bit and then another cold front comes through and gives us more cold weather. Right. Yes, that's it. Have a good morning, Nick. Oh boy, this thing. Alright, so I guess we'll find out if this thing is recording any audio. Oh, it's getting in here where it's not cold. You can see that uh, temperatures are below freezing because of the frost. And let's see, it's at 6, 6.49 in the morning. Uh, playout systems. I am trialing for 20 days Playout 1 standard. Uh, they're having a half off sale so you can buy Playout 1 standard, not the pro version because that's lease out. The standard version is buyout for 50 pounds uh, and it's normally 100 pounds and right now I'm currently evaluating it but I, uh, this may be too much work for a 20-day trial period to evaluate something. Uh, I was thinking about launching a new stream and a new station and uh, I was going to use Playout 1 standard and the trial version to uh, to test out a new stream and see how this thing works. And so far I am not impressed. <laughs> for, uh, for all of the things that people say about it, uh, it probably works fantastic, but so far uh, the database uh, sucks. There's there's really no reason for it to have a database. When you have a playout system that requires a database, it's usually going to end up bad. It took me almost a year to get this to work because of the database. The application works fine. It's the database that it was having the problems. And you know when you have an Achilles heel like that, I mean it's I, it, it's really not worth even wasting your time. Whereas what I'm using here doesn't require a database this has been working fine. Uh, you don't need a database to run a playout system. Playout uh, databases are not going to make your audio sound better or make your segs work. All you need is something that works. That's a re and I mean and and it's there's really no frills here. This is a no frills system. This is a lot of frills. And still with all the frills you don't need the database. Sorry this went on a little longer but I'm sure this is probably sufficiently terrible for a uh, for a digital camera video so yeah